Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, how was your weekend? I, my weekend, I, I was very funny because uh, my husband and I went uh, to the friend's party. Oh, why the party? A uh, birthday, birthday party. Okay, good. It was fun. <laughs> excellent, Patricia. Excellent. You're learning. Thank you're you. Learning. Thank you, teacher. Thank you're you. You're welcome. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Remember, funny is like Pepito. Pepito is funny. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is for Pepito. the jokes. Mm -hmm. And Javier, what about you? Did you go to a party? Um, <laughs> uh, I like parties. Saturday, I was, I was singing, <laughs> in singing, a, in, a, in a, yep, I <clears throat> I sing. Oh, in a band, in the church, karaoke. I have karaoke. <laughs> I have my playlist, and went to uh, different bars and sing like really one. One one hour and a half, but my throat it, it was a little bit uh, injured. Okay. <clears throat> injured. Injured. So mm -hmm. now uh, I'm close uh, 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 without voice. <laughs> I really <laughs> it hurts. <clears throat> I imagine. I imagine. If I don't speak. If I don't speak so much, it's because I'm a little a little sick. <laughs> okay. Too much party, huh? Okay, Javier. Good, good. Hey Nicole, beautiful hair. How are you? I didn't notice that your hair is so wavy. Uh, hello, with you. It's pretty long too. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. You see that, Patricia? Like the Chinese women. <laughs> yes. My hair, uh, bueno, I lost my hair recently, about uh, six months ago. I her, I lost uh, my hair because I, I was doing a serious diet, mm. and uh, I. Uh, I, I lost uh, 20, 20 pounds. Wow. In four months. <clears throat> um, because that I, today, now I am uh, with a dermatologist, <laughs> with a nutri nutritional treatments. Of, mm -hmm. A nutritionist. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I received the uh, acupuncture in my in my hair. No, in my how is uh, when we have the the hair the how is the meaning? How can I say? Did you check the chat? The place. Uh, okay. Scalp. Correct. Yes. The scalp. Uh, I receive an acupuncture in my scalp. Wow, it works. Uh, I hope uh, that it, it's work because uh, I received it in December. Okay. Is That is a slowly result. Okay, okay. All right. Wow. And what about you, Nicole? How long have you been growing your hair? My my hair uh, was about uh, um until the shoulders. To the shoulders, okay. Okay. 
Okay. And well, I've been growing my hair. Like I really don't know. I never haven't this my long my hair short. I've always liked to have long hair. Last time I cut it off was mm, last year on May. Wow. In my, and I've been growing my hair for two weeks. Look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> and to be like you is like five years. Yeah, it will take a long time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I am so happy that all of you are here and we are ready to begin our week. Remember, um, this week, one more time, it's going to be Monday through Friday. Uh, Friday, we're going to have classes again. And then the other weeks are going to be only Monday through Thursday. On Friday, last week, we finished with learning new vocabulary. New vocabulary associated with problems. Today, we want to see if we remember those vocabulary words. And we're going to start off by reviewing the video that we had. The video was 2.4 words that go with problems, and then we're going to try some exercises. Here we go. Welcome. I will give you a list of verbs that we may use when talking about problems. Try to find the synonyms for each. Recognizing problems. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem, identify a problem, ignore a problem, run into a problem, solve a problem. Look at the following picture. Type two sentences. All right. So before we already did the exercise for the picture, but before we continue, it's okay. All of the vocabulary. Are there any words you don't know? You're not sure about? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. All right, great. So what are we going to do with our partners? We're going to use those words that we just learned or that we learned from Friday, aggravate, avoid, so on. And we're going to use them to put in the word that is correct to complete the sentence. All right, as you can see, we have eight sentences and we have all of those words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each word is going to be used one time. We are not going to use the words two times. So each word in brackets, one time. Okay, this is 2.5, 2.5 with our partners. Then we're gonna check to see if you understood correctly. Hello, Carlos. I'm going to put you in the group so you can get started.
Hey, Dennis, you ready? Hi there. Hello. Sorry, I, I just had some issue with my connection, so I'm just coming late, but okay. yep, I'm ready. Excellent, all right. Let's take a look, 2.5, and we have eight sentences and we have eight volunteers. So let's begin. Each person has to do one. Who would like to do number one? Me, teacher. Go for it. Um, <clears throat> my friend never does anything about his problems. Uh, my answer is ignores. Okay. Good. Ignores his problems. Thank you. Good. Number two. Who's number two? Me, teacher. Okay. Maria can look at a broken bicycle. The problem right away identify. Okay, good. Number three. I'm uh, my mm -hmm. my sister is never afraid to try to take care of a difficult problem deal with. Okay, good. Number four. If you didn't do one, Carlos, Javier, Evan, if you didn't do one, you have to do one. Everybody has to do one. The, the number four. Okay. Gil Dunk always makes his problem worse. I think is um, <coughs> uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a boy. <coughs> I'm not sure. <coughs> Avoid. Yeah. Okay, um, let me see, we used it already? No, we didn't use it, okay? Don't worry, mistakes are, it's okay, it doesn't matter, the important is that you feel that's the right one, okay? That's how we learn. Number five. Don't be scared, you have to participate. Okay, go. Ruby always follows the recipe closely to prevent problems when she cooks. The answer is avoids. Okay, you think this is avoids, okay? No problem, no problem. Number six, number six. Me. Okay. And number six, uh... Ming always uh, unexpectedly encounters problems when he tries to fix things. The answer uh, answer is runs into. Okay, runs into. Great, number seven. Marco, Nelson, did you already participate? Carlos, I don't remember. Me teacher. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Okay. Carla is great at competitive fixing any kinds of problem at work. Uh, the answer is solving. Solving. Oops. There we go. All right. And who's got the last one? Who wants to try the last one? Um, okay. Go ahead. Me teacher. Oh, okay. Just I'm say sorry. it. Just say <laughs> it. Just say it. If, you, if you are waiting, nobody's gonna answer. Let's go. Uh huh. Sorry, my internet is breaking up. Okay. Uh, number eight. Al is the kind of student who always causes problems for teachers. Causes. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take a look. Pretty good. Um, most of those answers are correct. Not all of them, but most of them. As we can see, we have all of them at the beginning, ignores, identify, deal with. Number four was aggravated. Okay, that's the only one. And the others, very good. Of runs into solving and causes. What is aggravated? Aggravated is make worse. 
This is the idea of aggravated. The ag aggravated is to make the problem bigger, not to make the problem smaller. Mm -hmm. That's why. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. No. Let's take a look. Excellent. All right. So now we're going to be taking a look at today a little bit uh, here. Uh, this is our lesson for today. Nicole, can you please read? Sure. By the end of this session, participants will be able to use models to express degrees of, of certainly obligation, advice, and opinions. Good. So we have new vocabulary, specifically models. Remember, what is the difference between models and vocabulary? Models change according to the context. It's the same model, but can have different functions or different meanings. Let's learn some of the models for today. Here we have models with multiple uses. Remember, it's not only one meaning, it's a variety of meanings for the same word. Hello, let me remind you, the models may express degrees of certainty, obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone, almost 100% sure. It might be the phone, less than 50% sure. It could be the phone, less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend planned to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two, you loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. And learn a little bit more. Model auxiliary is... All right, let's read some examples here together. Nelson, can you please read the first two examples? Models with multiple uses. To express degrees of certainty, use must, not, can't, could not, might not, or may not. I ascertained the flashing lights must have caused the, the seizures. The seizure might have been caused by, by stress. So all of those are correct. Here's the important. All, all of them are correct, but all of them have different meanings. They have different degrees of certainty. So must is like the video said, 100. Could is a possibility, right? Maybe around 75. Might is around 50, the same as may. So all of these have different levels of how you think about it, okay? Evelyn, can you please read the second part? Sure. Uh, to express obligation, advice, or opinions, use should, not. Then I use must, not have for obligations, advice, or opinions about the past. Uh, the TV network should have been more careful obligation. The networks should think of issuing a health, a health warning advice. The children shouldn't have been sitting so close to the TV opinion. So as you see, what is the big difference? The big difference is must not. Must not is not for this. It's not for obligations, advice, or opinion. Must not is I believe. I think this is the idea for must, for must not, right? Uh, Javier didn't come to class. Oh, he must not be uh, able to connect, okay? This is, I believe it's certain. I believe it's true. This is the degree of certainty. It's okay, all of these words, should, 
must, can, could, might. Okay, we're going to have the opportunity to practice. Okay. Express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. Don't worry. So now we're going to have a little bit of this, okay? So we're going to talk, not from there, but we're going to talk with our partners, okay? We're going to talk about possibilities, suggestions, opinions, recommendations. We have many problems and many good things about El Salvador, okay? I want you to tell me one good thing about El Salvador. Salvador has many beautiful places that we should visit. Okay, exactly. That is wonderful. We should visit. Me as a Salvadorian and Patricia as a Canadian. Ah, Patricia, you must, you must visit uh, Tamanique. It has a beautiful waterfall. Okay. You shouldn't go uh, at night because there is nothing to do. This is the idea. We are going to use the models. Imagine that we are describing it. We are promoting our country. We are showing the love to another people from other places. We are giving positives. We are giving suggestions. And of course, also must not. So for me, I dislike some of the typical food. For me, you shouldn't drink chuco because I think it has a terrible flavor. But it's very common drink in many parts of the country. Always, you must take off your hat if you go inside the church. This is part of our culture and it must be respected. Simple things like that. It's okay, the models we're going to use and how we're going to use it? Yes. Yes? Perfect. So think about places that you like, places you didn't like, restaurants that you enjoyed, give your opinion, suggestions, recommendations, and also for talents. Hey, I come from Canada. It's cold. There is snow. There is cold. Oh, you should go surfing and whatever you want. You must try. You can. You All of these different things. Okay? We're going to have a few minutes. Each person needs to give a lot of suggestions, recommendations, and opinions. This is the most important. Okay. okay. Let's do it. Hi, let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Assume. Be certain. Be positive. Be sure. Bet. Dubbed. Figure. Guess. Have a hunch. Know for a fact, suppose, suspect. Use verbs of beliefs to discuss the following questions. Number one, why do giraffes have long necks? Number two, is there intelligent life in other planets? Hi, let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Assume. Be certain. Be positive. Be sure. Bet. Dubbed. Figure. Guess. Have a hunch. Know for a fact. Suppose. Suspect. 
Use verbs of beliefs to discuss the following questions. Number one, why do giraffes have long necks? Number two, is there intelligent life in other planets? Okay. How do we feel? We're okay. We have the ideas. We have some good recommendations, opinions. Yes. Yeah. What? Tell me. <laughs> Nelson, Nelson recommended recommended me to to drink a tea to my throat. Oh, what tea? Um, uh, he told me about lemon, uh, honey, and manzanilla. I don't know how to say. Chamomile. Chamomile. Yes, chamomile. Okay. It's a new vocabulary for me. Good, good. It's okay. It's not a common word for, you know, the typical flower. Mm-hmm. But okay. it's common for us because we use it a lot in our teas. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Now that we have the idea and we have how to use it, now we're going to practice some written exercises. In the chat, I'm going to have you several links. Okay. That way we can do it. 
There you go. You should see four links in your chat. Make sure you have access to the four links. The objective is to complete four of them, but is really is three, and then the other one is extra. This one, you can work with your partners. I recommend you share screens. Why? Because even if it's the same link, sometimes it's not in the same order, but you can try with your partners, the extra ones. These are all for models that we are looking at today. Models like can, could, must, may, should, all of these different ones, right? So we are going to have, uh, for this exercise, we have 15 minutes and the idea is to complete the four links with the partners, right? How many minutes? 15. 15. 15. So you have 15, you have 15 minutes. Believe me, when you begin to work, it's not a long time. You have to go, 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 go with your partners and make sure that you understand. No, mm, mm, thing marine. No, you all you need to do all of them. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Yep. Let's do it. <clears throat> Carlos Nelson, what happened? No, I don't know what happened, teacher. I couldn't enter it to any chat. Okay. All right. I put you to another one. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nelson okay, and Carlos, you. it's okay. We'll go to another one. Think like it's not working. Nelson, right? We'll try. I'll try you again. There you go.
Okay, here we go. I see some people say that they don't have the links that is not in the chat. So one more time, there are the links. Please open them up and make sure that you have them in your chat or have them in your links wherever you want. Okay, did you copy them? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, let's go then. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, it was a busy day and I didn't remember that we have the class, <laughs> but just join. No problem. No, it, no problem. Was, it, was, it was crazy today. I put you into a group. No problem, George.
Okay. Is that better? Help you understand better the concepts for the different models? Any questions? Any models that are confusing? Actually, uh, teacher, uh, I found something curious because I didn't know that the contraction uh, was allowed or, or was correct, the contraction with must, mustn't. I didn't know. I didn't yes. know that. I, that is correct. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not uh -huh, because not a lot of people say it. most people they, they usually use the emphasis they must not must not but exactly. must is correct mm -hmm. uh -huh. great any other uh, comments or questions? I, I never used before was uh, shadow shall 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 yeah shall 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 is very but, common to use shall shall Shall, shall not, shall, shall not. not. But yes. The contraction, shallent, but shall. no, we only use shall and shall not. Mm -hmm. shall, shall not. Yeah. Yes. But, and but it, the meaning of shall, teacher, is pretty much the same. Like should, am I right? No, it, it's that, that's what I was going to tell. Explain. Uh, shall is similar, but is not the same. The difference is shall includes you should is an opinion shall is a recommendation so for example i am hungry and i say shall we eat is i am inviting you to eat because i also want to eat when i say shall okay. is i am giving you my opinion and asking you at the same time when i say should is only express my opinion but maybe i don't want Mm -hmm. Hey, we have vacation for Easter. We have vacation for Holy Week. Hey, shall we go to Costa Rica? I am telling you, I want to go to Costa Rica and I am asking you. But if I say should, is not. It's only, oh, you should go to Costa Rica. My opinion for you. Or I should is only my idea for me. So shall is different in this aspect. There is two meanings in one. Teacher, uh, shall is the meaning as will. No, 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 no. Um, it's not. It's not like will. Will is only for will is for future, future. or for uh huh for ideas. And shall is I am asking you a question, but giving you my opinion. Mm, I understand. Mm -hmm. But in, okay. in the but in the example, just say shan't in negative. Mm hmm. They shan't, they so shall not, so not not do the action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, so I, I understand with the, what you are explanation to us, I understand that shall is only can be used with a third persons, but not in the first persons, is that right? No, no, you can use with the first person, but for example, I shall go first. Ah, uh, all right. Mm -hmm. And this is the very, this is the, this is the basic of models. Models are not one meaning. Models are changing the meaning. So yeah. depend the situation, it has different meaning. In one sentence is will, in one sentence is should, in one sentence is uh, uh, should, uh, can we? So it depends the situation. That's why models, you have to understand that the usage of models is to express the concept the concept of invitation, the concept of my opinion and invitation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So whenever you use shall, is going to be a way to say, uh, I believe and what is your opinion? So if Patricia says, oh, I am hot. Okay, shall we go outside? I am asking her opinion, but I also give my opinion that for me, it's a good idea. If that makes sense. Okay. Nice, nice. Yes, it, it helps when you want to express your opinion, but you want to be nice and formal. I am hungry. I want to eat pupusas. So shall we eat pupusas? I give you my opinion that I want to eat, but. I ask you nicely if you want to eat pupusas also. 
Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Understood. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Any other concepts? Not teacher. All clear. Good. Remember, the links provide you, if you didn't finish, the function or the purpose of the links is so that you can work later. You can also work at home if you didn't have a chance to finish. It's not an obligation. It is a recommendation that you master models. Models are super common in English. Should you always give your opinion or usually give your opinion with should? Must are like obligations. Can for abilities. All of these are very common verbs that people use with models. So the models are the very important when you're speaking. Okay. Now, before, yeah. uh, yes, go ahead, Marco. Uh, for example, if I'm talking with somebody who has recently come to El Salvador and that person tell me, I have, a, I, I, I have a, for four days to be being in here in El Salvador, but I never visit, but I, but I haven't visit the source city. And I can respond to that person, you must. Yes. It's all right. You must. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. You, you must visit or you must you not must. depend your opinion. You must okay. not leave El Salvador without trying pupusas. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or the contraction, right? You mustn't. You, you mustn't must. leave. Uh huh. You must leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say, perhaps to add to the idea that we can still say you should go. Of course. To city. Uh -huh. We can still use it because it is how important you are making your point. If you say you must go, you are kind of trying to make him an obligation that he needs to go there. Yes, so it's it like you. Is the strong go, recommendation. It's, like an it's a good recommendation. You should go 50 yeah. 50, right? If you go, exactly. it's, go, it's okay. And if you don't go, well, it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It must same. go. Is that it's something that you will regret if you don't go? Exactly. Or the same for can. Oh, I don't know what to do. Would you give your options? Oh, you can go to the mountain. You can go to a taco. You can, you can give options using can also. Well, good. So, it's only, remember, the focus of the models today is the degree, how much for you, how important, like, oh, is number one, 100%, is so-so, might, may, possibilities, could, can. This is the difference for the models. It's the degree, not that it's incorrect, is how much you want it, okay? Now, before we leave, uh, just as a reminder for tomorrow's class, tomorrow's class, we are going to finish unit two. Tomorrow, we are going to complete unit two, and we're going to be looking at more degrees of certainties and degrees of belief, the verbs that we use with belief. So tomorrow, we're going to learn the new topic, verbs of belief. We're going to do listening and reading and complete the unit and check anything that needs or review anything that is not clear. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you guys okay, for Thank you for teacher. your questions. Have Bye. a nice night. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night, Bye -bye. Good night Bye -bye. everybody. Good night.